What really happens when a honeybee stings you? Oh. You might think the bee just flies away, maybe a little annoyed, but basically fine. Nope, for a honeybee, it's a one-way trip. See, honeybees have a very special piece of equipment, a barbed stinger. Think of it like a tiny, sharp fish hook. When that stinger goes into the thick, elastic skin of a mammal, like us, it gets stuck, firmly lodged. So when the bee finishes its business and tries to make a quick getaway, uh-oh, oh. it can't pull the stinger out. As it flies away, the stinger stays behind. But it's not just the stinger. It's attached to the bee's venom sac, its digestive tract, muscles, and nerves. The bee literally rips a part of its own abdomen out as it struggles to free itself. It leaves a piece of its own body behind. That catastrophic injury is why the poor honeybee dies after stinging. It's an ultimate act of self-sacrifice, and it's specifically designed for defending the colony against big threats. Interestingly, other bees, like bumblebees, have smooth stingers. They can sting multiple times and live to buzz another day. But the honeybee's barbed stinger is a unique fatal defense mechanism. When that one bee stings, it also releases an alarm pheromone, a chemical signal that actually smells a bit like bananas. This scent screams danger to the rest of the hive, calling in backup. It's a last resort defense for their home and family. So remember, honeybees only sting when they feel super threatened. They're not looking for a fight, they're protecting their entire colony. The next time one buzz is near you, just stay calm, move slowly, and respect the buzz.